Trying to get it back on here, Penny Walsh McGuire. How are you? I'm Penny Good. The new, I'm, I'm saying the new baby, but it's a one year old now. <laughs> it's 10 months old, yeah. Ten months. Check out time. Back in, back in my desk a couple weeks. Great to see you all. Well, Mr. Adams did a great job in your uh, absence. I'm sure, Sorry. that's great. Is that yeah, Scott? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a different Adams. Is that who he's working We don't want to go there. I was wondering who he was doing all the work for. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Is it on? Technology. Technology. Love it. Raise roll. What did we do 20 years ago? Right? So you worship? No problem. She's great. You know her from LM. Councilor Duffy had you. He was Councilor Duffy. He had his hand up. Such a he was just like this, yeah. quietly yeah. putting his hand down. So like, yeah. like, like like we almost should go back to 25 years ago and shoe phones. Hey, get smart. We're live. 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 And what is five alive? You ready to go, guys? Good. We're live at five. Okay, so did you want to answer the question, Colin, or. Um, or was that? A, I think Councillor Twill made a comment. Do you want to add anything to it? No, I, I agree with Councillor okay. Twill. I mean, I, I appreciate the you know the the honesty and the understanding of where we're at right now. Um, it's it, we're not trying to be confrontational, but the passion that we speak of yeah. it comes from the representation that we're coming the members that we're, we're representing here today. So that's that's what we're trying to get across here is that you know we're we're very we're very um, you know we, we believe very strongly that that this has to be moved forward and moved out uh, down the road because it's not something that we can handle right now. Councillor Bernard. Thank you, Your Worship. Uh, thanks for that call. Uh, thanks everyone for coming in. Um, just wanted to, you know, I was hoping we could have a meeting and kind of tell both sides of the story. We're hearing yours. I want to give a little bit of it our side. Um, and then we can work it off. Yeah. Um, you know, whenever this increase was put in the budget, it was put in as, as part of the budget document. It's part of, you know, you have revenue, you have expenses. As you know, we're, we're, we're spending money on the parkades now. Uh, 6.5 million was to be spent on the three parkades, bring them up, bring them up to, to snuff. Um, this COVID obviously, is, as you said, it's hurt a lot of business. It's, it's hurt municipalities too. Um, so we're down, I think our revenue is approximately around $2.2 .2 million. We're bleeding too. Um, the parkades are not making any money. So I know, Colin, when you asked about how much are we talking about, you know, we're not talking big dollars because, because there's not a lot of traffic in those parkades. Um, does it make sense now uh, to look at the possibility of postponing these, these rate increases till, till January? Probably looking for probably. Um, but this whole meeting that was set up, as you guys know, fell through the cracks. We didn't know about it yet. So mm -hmm. the staff was doing their job as, as part of the budget that was passed. That they were to kick in at a certain date. That's, that's what they were doing. Um, so it's unfortunate. We could have had the meeting. We could have had these discussions. We probably would have had this worked out. Um, now, I think I, I think most of council's colleagues have been thinking about this, and I, I think you know it, we're not talking big dollars. At the same time, it's, it's they're not huge increases, but at the end of the day, it's part of our revenue stream. Uh, but now we have meetings coming up, I believe, with, with provincial ministers, and, and there's, there's some money they're talking about start the economy again. Uh, so there may be some monies coming down to municipalities to help some of our losses. So uh, I would say that we, we, could, we could, I don't want to speak for all council, but we could probably look at that revenue and, and look for ways to hold this parking increase off until at least January. I think that's what you're asking for, to hold off in January. Hold off for January and maybe even further. If this pandemic keeps going, you're not going to have business. It won't matter what you, you can charge whatever you want, but you're not going to get your revenue even close to your revenue if there's no one downtown to, like, like there was in March, April, and May. There was no one downtown. It was free, but it didn't matter if it was free or wasn't free. You wouldn't have many people parking anyway. So I think it's a, a bigger discussion, but for now, I think at least in the face of, the, of what's happening today, we were saying, because that was the original conversation, let's hold it up, but we'll have a discussion 
after after uh, after yes. January. But well, I, a question I, I, that was, well, I was promoting or pushing back in April. Yeah. Can we not put this off until until January thirty first? In the meantime, have a meeting. That was the conversation that mm -hmm. was was going to go on, okay. and we were, we were assured no problem. There'll be lots of meetings before yeah. anything happens, and yeah. that's why we're we're here today. Yeah. Okay, and the only thing, the only other thing I want to point out, Liam, is, is if you check around all the municipalities in, in the Maritimes, no one other than Charlottetown has given free parking for as long as we have. Some have been here for two weeks. Yeah. Well, so, I mean, we have been yeah. work, we, we have been wanting to work with the downtown. We mm -hmm. we have noticed yeah. that. Yeah. Um, as I said earlier, it's unfortunate that there was a breakdown in communication. We never we never knew there was a meeting sought after. Um, that's behind us now. Yeah. And I think you know we can come in here and work together. I don't think we, we want to be. Uh, confrontation. I think we want to work together. You guys do good work. Mm -hmm. We know we need the downtown business. Mm -hmm. and we want to work with them too. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Councillor Duffy. Thank you, Your Worship. Uh, thank you very much, people, for coming in this evening. Uh, I'll be short, I hope. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You'll be in time. Go time, mate. I do have sympathy for the people downtown. I, I really do. And my wife and I try to, uh, to do our shopping downtown, eat out downtown uh, to get things up and going. And uh, I don't think we've made a dent in the barrel, but we've tried. Anyway, I, I just want to point out that we, the city of Charlottetown, in this building here, we are a corporation too. And, and we are a driving force of the economy in Charlottetown. And as a corporation, we are down, way down. And we need funds just as restaurants in town do and as drugstores need and clothing stores. We need revenue to provide the services, the infrastructure, to keep the economy at least going, if not improving. Uh, so we're hurting big time. I sent a little uh, newsletter out or whatever uh, today to vote you. Sorry, Carl, I missed you. I'll get, make sure you get a copy of it. We're down $2.2 million if things uh, just go as they are now. $2 million on March the 31st. Folks, that has to be paid. That has to be, that red uh, $2.2 million that's the opening entry on our 2001, uh, two, 2021 budget, that has to be satisfied before we can spend one red cent. So we just hope to God there's no snowstorm on March the 2nd because we're not permitted to provide services until that red $2.2 million is, is, uh, is uh, liquidated. And now I know Penny has brought to my attention that there are circumstances where you can apply, but uh, we didn't go that far with it. Uh, so, uh, but the, I think the other thing I want to say is with most other programs where revenues are, are uh, concerned, it's a contributor, a contributor to the expense uh, of having a particular program, such as minor hockey. Minor hockey, you've got a person in minor hockey who pays so much money and the city pays so much on your behalf and it all ends up. It's a contributor because you use the service, it's your way of life to, to carry on your business, you do it downtown. You, you contribute, you don't pay for the whole service, but you contribute. And that's what the, the uh, park aides do and that's what the park and meters <coughs> do. Uh, so we're not asking the, the uh, patrons to come downtown to, to show to the full load, we're asking them to help the city along. It's a very small increase. Uh, one final point I'd like to make, for decades on end in the city of Sherrill there's always been two uh, uh, complaints uh, about the city. One I, I don't hear very much about really is the increase when we uh, have an increase. There are a lot of complaints, I just don't seem to be a magnet for them. The, the other one is the, uh, I can never find a parking place downtown. Well, let's be honest about it. The parking rates today in downtown Charlottetown are stagnant at where they were. There's no increase, but there's lots of parking places downtown. That, that, the fact that we've frozen them for a month hasn't increased business. There's still there's still empty spaces in Bank of Montreal, uh, right across the street. There was about eight parking places there at 1:30 this afternoon. It, it, the fact that we've frozen them hasn't increased business. There's there's no, no one coming downtown, it's just, uh, and I feel badly for the merchants for that, but at the end of the day, as a corporation, we have a, we have a financial obligation to pay uh, our, our, fair way, our fair share and to help the economy of the city, but we can't help the economy of the city if we can't fix parking garages and pay meter maids and that sort of thing. So I think we're, as the saying goes, we're all in this together. I don't know why the city of Charlottetown 
you know, can't, you know, have some help in, in with their their debts. It's the same as the business people. And once again, I'm on the side of the business people as much as anybody else. Thank you, Your Worship. Thank you, Councilor Duffy. More than three. Councilor. Thank right. you, Your Worship. <laughs> so uh, I certainly appreciate what everyone's saying in the room and everyone's stance on, on this. And, and thank you, folks, for coming in. You know, we're just, uh, it's the day after the throne speech was, was made last night. Yeah. And, you know, we see our, our federal government, you know, looking for ways to help, to assist, continue, continuation of serve, how to help business, how to help. You have the province that are looking for ways of helping. And I, and I think as a municipality, um, I think we're I think we're missing the boat a little bit. <coughs> and I agree. This uh, you know under the circumstances, I think that you know back it up. I appreciate I appreciate the city has to create different revenue uh, sources and, and avenues to to pay for these infrastructure and everything else. And, and I appreciate that. And I appreciate the fact that you know that we're operating <coughs> with less dollars and get all that. But again, the, the timing is poor. The the message that we're sending is poor. And I think as municipal leaders, as our federal leaders, provincial leaders, I think their message is, we need help. So I know we agreed to October 31st, uh, I think it's a delay. Uh, I'm gonna put a motion on the floor to, to defer until January 20, 31st with a future discussion to happen. You wanna put that forward right now? Put that forward yeah. right now. I'll second that. Right, second that. Okay, there's a motion on the floor. It's moved by Councilor Rivera, seconded by Councilor Yanka. And just to be clear, it's the same stance I had during to last, refer last any increase of parking rates, parking meter rates, or the parquet rates, uh, parquet rates until January 31st, 2021. Councillor Yanka, you want to speak to it? I just, there's not much more I can say to, just to echo what Councillor Lars said, Councillor Bernard. It's, um, you know, it's not, it's not great times for anybody right now, and. And even for Councilor Duffy, I totally get where you're coming from. We're, you know, we're, we're a business too, a municipality. The last thing we want to do is ever entertain the idea of having to put the tax, taxpayers' um, taxes up during a pandemic, which I am quite sure we'll not have to do that. And I just think it's we just have to give these businesses a little bit of a break. I mean, we didn't, when, I, when we were comparing other municipalities, we looked at parking rates and we noticed that. The other municipalities rates, a lot of them are higher than ours, but we also, if we wanted to actually compare apples to apples, we didn't do as much as say some of the other um, municipalities did when it came to closing off streets and, and um, expanding areas for more areas for restaurants to have their seating. So to me, I just see this as our part to help out the downtown. So I, um, yeah, I'd like to see us defer this and, had the further discussions. Thank you, Councilor. Thank you. Councilor McLeod. Thank you very much, Your Worship, and thank you very much, folks, for coming in. Um, I'm kind of on the fence with all these all these topics. Uh, uh, I do agree timing is not great, uh, and I have no trouble with January. <coughs> um, I do have trouble maybe after January. Um, you know, uh, you folks are in early in the year. Um, you wanted money for the music series. We went from 2,500 to 15,000. The Scarecrow initiative's on now. That's seventy-five hundred dollars. It's not like you know. Somehow, out of all this, the city's being made look like we're really bad people, right? and we're not. We're not. But we do have a bill to pay, and it's it doesn't get paid. And I know Atlanta thinks there's two point two million going to fall to the sky somewhere, but no one's promising. Really, there's just loose conversations, but there's been nobody coming to us saying there's going to be money. There's nothing concrete, so we have to start at some point being responsible. Right? We are. I thought it was coming. No, but I'm just saying. I'm money just tree. saying, like you know, from tree. a financial point of view, we don't have anybody coming to us yet. You heard the feds yeah. given given them small business more money, which is great. The serve, and it, but there's not much there for municipalities yet. We're not hearing much, right? And it's scary, and and we just don't want to keep working out when all of a sudden we could be laying people off. Hopefully we'll find that out next week. But, so, but, but anyway, I I, I feel the pain and, and I understand. And I I do agree to January for sure. Um, and that discussion can be had later, um, but I do need, you know, we're not bad people, we're, we are trying to do our best, and there's a lot of balance and acts here to do, and, uh, you know, these parkades, and we're spending a pile of money in them, and really, what's it for? It's for people downtown, right? It's not like that money isn't being wasted either, right? I mean, if we don't spend the money in the parkades, we're going to fall down, so it's, you know, we are spending money to try and create downtown, and, and uh, it's, 
you know, we, we have the best downtown anywhere in the world. I think, I mean, we're, we've got the little historic side of us that, that's unbelievable, and you guys do a great job of doing your part to, to do it, and I support you up to January for sure. Well, Councilor McLeod, I know you're a great person. <coughs> <laughs> Councilor Bernard, and then Councilor, <laughs> Councilor Ramsey, then Councilor Duff. Um, yeah, I think the difference here is everybody knows we're, 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 we're in un unprecedented times. Um, as I said before, the uh, increase was in the budget when we passed it in April. Um, would have been nice to have these conversations yeah. month ago or two months ago, yeah. but at the end of the day, I can understand fully where you guys are coming from. Um, you know, hopefully, I mean, I mean, some of the data that you hear is scary, but small business is going to go under, and what percentage of small business is not going to survive? So it does make sense that we do a postponement. Um, my only feeling is we didn't have to go through this exercise. Um, but anyway, it is what it is, and uh, so I think that from what the council is pretty much in agreement that yeah, it's something that we feel that we can do and should do. Uh, but I'm glad we had the conversation in the sense that you guys could see we're not a bank, we are a corporation, we have to be responsible for taxpayers. Um, so we're trying to play, play both sides here. Uh, we're trying to be responsible, but yet do the right thing. And I will be supporting this because I think it's the right thing to do right now. Councilor Ramsey, sorry, Councilor Ramsey, is that on you? Yep. Just, yep. Councilor I Ramsey. agree with everything, we're, and I will be supported to January also, but at the same time, I a few comments that Councilor Duffy said too, that how you can drive around and I can stand in Jen's office any day of the week and Queen Street by Shopper's Road Market and everything like that is, is, and this is all certain types of day there, it's all empty, parking spots. Um, so on and so forth. But one thing that I think that is being omitted here, and this is just my personal opinion, is there's 2,000 less people coming to the city every day because of the, fed, uh, the federal and, and the province. And this is really making an impact on these small businesses, restaurants, or whatever it is out there, yeah. and even on the city corporation as far as parking. So, and if for somehow they would open up the federal building, which I, I know it's out of our realm, and I probably shouldn't be speaking. We've written to them. Or, 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 or to the province, bring it back to the workers. I, I don't know whose job is it to go to that. But that's where a lot of people, like the 2,000 people, not coming to the city of Charlotte on really. So, and I think if those people were still all coming back in, I mean, some of this conversation probably wouldn't be happening. Yeah. So, Penny, do you just... And that's my personal opinion. Thank you. Thank you, Worship. Councilor Duffy, uh, Penny just wants to add something, but Penny and her group have already sent a letter to Lawrence McCauley's yeah, office. I'll just, just uh, fill and it in. I know Don of DCI and many other groups yeah. have lobbied hard on behalf of our membership, on behalf of the health and of the, the city. downtown mm -hmm. and the peripheral, um, because it's not just just the downtown, it's it's you know, calling our business. That's right. Um, that <coughs> federal government um, employees back um, to the workplaces, to the work not back to work, workplaces. To workplaces. Mm -hmm. And um, we have had those conversations with Minister McCauley, with MP Casey, and um, you know, I think the responses and the and the, the, the pushback, not necessarily from the politicians, but uh, but from the labor groups and from those representing them is, is, is a big factor there. It doesn't mean that the conversation is, is finished, but that we'll continue to have those discussions. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And the national policy doesn't fit all. In Toronto yeah. and Montreal, I can understand, but we're in the Atlantic bubble, so we're doing pretty good. Mm -hmm. Council, uh, sorry, Liam, did you want to just Council add that? I'm oh, sorry, Dad, I just Council, want to add that. Council, I, was on, Council I was at a call this morning with, with their MP Wayne Easter and, and Sean Casey, and that's been driven home many, many, many meetings we were involved, the business continuity group I am. And uh, as Sean said today, he didn't have very good news. They're saying that the, the productive the product, productivity for the staff is way up, uh, and mm -hmm. there seems to be no uh, hurry to bring them back to work. Yeah. He said, I, I, we, they've been pushing on it on our behalf, uh, our MPs here, and uh, they were very disappointed as well too, as they reported us today. So we are, being, we are lobbying it on, yeah. on a regular basis. Good. Back to their workplace. Hey, Mr. Kelly, what are you going to do, do for the city? Productivity? <laughs> You're always thinking of productivity. Uh, Councilor Duffy? Thank you, Worship. Uh, unfortunately, it's not a very popular position to be in, but I will not be supporting it. And not because I don't want to help the downtown people, it's because I'm fearful of uh, where we're going to get the 2.2 uh, million dollars uh, on April the 1st, uh, uh, as has been uh, 
uh, suggested it may come from the sky. It's not going to come from the Easter Bunny. I know that. So uh, it's, it's uh, prepare. Uh, budget time is coming. Uh, where do you think we're going to get? All I'm asking for is uh, 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 participation by the people that use the parking meters and the park aides downtown, just to participate to a small level. By a lot of people participating to a small level, it would help uh, wonderfully with our $2.2 billion. Uh, so I know this will not be happy, especially among the teachers downtown, but uh, sometimes the, what I consider the right thing to do is not the most popular thing to do. Thank you. Thank you, Councilor Duffy. Councilor Yankoff? My question, my own comment was answered, so I take my hand back down. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have it up, but I'm just asking if you had any questions. I had my hand up. <laughs> Councilor <Grant. laughs> uh, Just for Councilor Duffy, I'm not sure if Councilor Duffy knows enough, but just a little while. Um, so, Councilor Duffy, the numbers you gave out, yes, it's true, um, but the city of Charlottetown still is in the surplus. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. And the snow's coming. Yep. Yeah. You're not, you're, not be you're not going to be traveling this year, so no, you're, but no. you can throw your, your traveling <laughs> expense in that fifteen thousand dollars. So there we go. That's the problem solved. Yeah. Yeah. Question, yeah. Councilor Robert. Question, question call. So what? Question call. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to raise a motion then? Oh yeah, yeah. Just to the motion. Uh, no, the, we don't have any papers, but it's in no paper. The minutes to, to defer until January thirty first for sure. Yeah, that's increasing the parking to park aid rates and also the parking meter. Yes, and, and a conversation to happen early January to reassess. Yeah. And to keep it open, transparent, and account. Yeah. Put yes, that okay. in the Put that in the Real. Okay. Good All those in favor, raise their hands. <sighs> Councilor Drawn, yay or nay? Yes. Yes. Against? Okay. Eight to one. Councilor Duffy, against. <clears throat> okay. Ken, is that all right? Don, do you, did you want to say anything, Don, to close it up or Penny? <laughs> I, mean, I don't want to leave you out. I don't want to leave you out. No. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you very much. We look much. forward to meeting with you in January. We'll get our notes together. Get a hold of Mr. <laughs> Kelly. 629 4126. Do you want to sell me? Do you want to sell me? 1809. Thanks for listening to us. Thank you. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much. Okay. So, sir, we're going to the resolution. Thank you, Penny. Thank you, Colin. Thank you. Take care. Thanks, Penny. We're going to number 4B. Kelly. Sorry, sir. It's 4B, which is moved by Council. Bernard, second by Council Rivera, that Council authorized an increase in the carry current fiscal year operating grant budget of 50000 for design consulting on the third ice pad at the Bell Alliance Center. Okay, and that's moved. Question. Question? Question was called, Councillor? No. Can we allow him just to. No, yeah. 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 Sorry, sir. Well, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I think there's a bit of confusion on the floor that. Um, you know, we can still entertain listening to, to the uh, to the community group on what they're proposing. I think we ought to be a little more specific. The community group is proposing uh, arenas to be built on the Simmons Sports campus. They're not they're not in favor of a third rink being built at, at the University of Prince Edward Island. Yeah. So, so uh, with that in mind, I, I still believe. It's advantageous. I mean, I think they're going to have a community group within our community meeting and invite uh, members of community uh, <clears throat> community groups, uh, members of city council within uh, within 30 day period. So, so the question becomes, uh, you know, what's of us? We 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 spent a year, year and a half on, on the big arena, and we threw that exercise. Uh, this comes to real. So, so, <laughs> keep going there, sorry. Yeah, anyway, so, you know, it's great to say we're going to spend $50,000 on, 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 on some uh, plans for, for the university, but we don't want to come back later and say to the community group that we have an opportunity to build a rink or two rinks at the Simmons Sports Campus site and then to say, oh no, that decision's already been made. So, I want a clarification on that. Okay. I want a clarification on that. Oh, yep. Well, I think it? I think the decision was made, and I'm going back to the minutes here, Councillor. Yeah. This was uh, July 21st to accept the John Hack report 
and it went eight to two in the closed session. Yeah. Now I'm reading from the minutes. Yeah. To address the city's aging ice rinks. I know he said that when he was at that podium. It was suggested a third ice pad be added to the Bell Alliance Center. It's right in the minutes. So the eight, it was eight two vote uh, behind closed doors. Cody and Tweel opposed, and then when it went to the open for the resolution, it went seven three, right, Tracy? Yes. Seven three, which was Cody, Deputy Mayor Cody, Councillors Duran and uh, Tweel. Right. So that that was that was voted on. Councillor McCabe. Just for clarification, when I voted that oh, night, sorry. I had to adopt the report, John Hatch report. <laughs> At that point, I was still understanding we were taking this report, but I would have been under the assumption that we would have had further discussion around the recommendations in the report. Yeah. So that's why I voted to accept the report that night. Without, I just assumed we would have further discussion on the specific recommendations. I didn't automatically assume that we'd be going to DPEI. And I do have concerns with, with you know, us investing again. And I've spoken. People know where I stand on this. With putting a third ice pad at the university and increasing their their footprint there which i think is great and it's going to be really good for the university but what are we getting back out of that yeah. um what's the user agreement there what's our residents who it's there it's our taxpayers dollars that we're going to be putting into this investment and what what kind of partnership is in place and i really have a hard time voting to move this forward until i understand and i'm a little bit more clear about what that partnership would be you're against the resolution i am right now until we get more information yes uh, sorry, Councilman Bernard. Yeah, I, I think I, I think the worst we did we, we did. You want to go, Terry? Terry, Terry, <laughs> Terry, I keep forgetting, and you're a good person. Yeah. Uh, you you want to go? go? You go. No, no, what? no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Just finish it. Um, <laughs> help me if I'm wrong. We, we did vote to adopt the uh, report, but we also voted to adopt. Uh, option D. Yeah, which is very clear. That was it's, second. It's in the minutes. I don't. I, well, that's good, but I don't recall. Yeah, but I recall Councilor we Dia saying, "Or is this have to do with the location?" On on numerous occasions, I do have to support yeah. that he did clarify that. Uh, Councilor Yankov, would you agree with that? So oh, I, I had no. That, yeah. yeah. So I have. Well, I think I had the floor though, right? Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. So I think the question was, do you vote in favor of option D? That's what we voted on. So if, if, what, if what you're saying is that you weren't sure what you're voting on, then you didn't read the resolution. The option D is okay. third rank on carry facility. Yeah. Now, as far as those other questions about what are we going to be, you know, are we going to be able to use the facility, are we going to have QBI? The third pad, the <coughs> idea of that is for two things. One is to replace Simmons. Mm -hmm. But it's also, uh, uh, as you know from the conversation we had with the Canada and Tosha side, is to get money to help build that facility. So. The votes were already taken. It's almost like we're going back. You know, we make decisions in here that all of a sudden somebody doesn't like it, and you come back and you, you try to start the whole process over again. We paid a consultant over hundred thousand dollars to come up with the recommendations. We agreed with the recommendations. We voted on, on option D, which was the third pad. Uh, so now, in the eleventh hour, we're hearing, "Oh no, no, we want to change it." Well, the council can vote to change the one, but I mean, I, I want to see Simmons replaced pretty soon. And I think we all knew Simmons was in a bit of a hurry. So we were looking at um, the uh, entertainment, uh, sport entertainment facility, uh, the possibility of it being two pads or one pad. Mm -hmm. So now I think our, our decision was the third, the, the, the third pad will go on carry, and then we we'll continue to work that stream of the entertainment facility. Okay. So in order to flush a lot of what you're talking about out, though, we had to wait to see, because it, it went back to the board, it had to talk to the university, because that's, that's their property. And they had to be okay with mm -hmm. using their property for that third pad. Yeah. Now there was a preliminary plan done in 2015, and we knew yeah. that. Mm -hmm. So uh, those agreements have, have fallen into place. So now it's just to go to design. So it's, it's basically just the next step. That's all it is. Councilor Plum. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, just to clarify, I guess um, when, when Councilor Bernard says to replace Simmons, uh, I, I think the way I see it is. Um, we need a rink and we need one bed. And this this third pad at UPI solves that problem yeah. because there's also funding models there that we can't replace at Simmons that we can't at UPI. So that makes sense, right? But to help Councilor Drill um, with this group, I think there is a master plan for Simmons. Yeah. Now, whether the rink is in or whether the rink is out, all we did was accept 
that report. We have not really sat down as a council and decided what to do with Simmons. No. So there is discussions on the pool, there's discussions. So you know what? There's lots of time to take the yeah. merger group, take that report, get it in here, and have a good discussion on Simmons. Good point there, Councilor. Right? Yeah. And that's where we should go forward. But this is a golden opportunity that will not be replaced. Like, you know, the, the, we're getting, the city's getting a, an opportunity to get a rink built quickly and, and cheap. And, and Councilor McLeod, just to clarify, it's the Cary Board, so Cary is, is Sorry, working with the university, Sorry. and the university has representation. Sorry. But Kerry runs Kerry. two rinks, two pools, and the yeah. health club. So this would be add up, add an angle. Yeah. So it's it, two two separate entities. Yeah. yeah. Um, who's so after? So uh, I'm just you know to me it, it's really it's to replace an aging ice service. Yeah. But it's you know whether it's Simmons or not, like that's a question that we can answer in the future. Yeah. Yeah. Councilor McCain. And to clarify, I did read the no, I, I did I read. I'll just put up now. Go. Oh, I did read the <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to miss you, Councilor. I get those eyes. <laughs> looking at me <laughs> go ahead no I feel like I did read the resolution and I feel like there is a lot of stuff that um, comes our way and a lot of decisions that sometimes I'm not saying that I don't agree that UPI is the perfect spot for the third ice pad what I'm saying is I still think that there's pieces that I mean again we don't have discussion in here around enough information coming and I obviously was confused because I did interpret that we had said that night adopt the report um, but no further discussion about anything. And, and if that's the best place and it makes the most economic sense and people are going to be able to access it, we're, we've always had concerns and complaints about people being able to access the services. I mean, those are things that have to be, and I know you're in a rush because you're looking No, no, they, they'll be worked out. Um, they will be. Yes. yes. Okay, yeah, just there. It's, it's, it's just I want to make it clear that uh, it's, it's when we met for the August meeting, mm -hmm. Councillor McKay, these were part of your package and they were approved and then I asked business arising from the minutes no one said anything that's why these minutes are important so these were in your report so <clears throat> what was left here was a third ice pack nobody changed it Councilor Twill uh, Councilor Twill first okay well you know um, I, I, I do agree with Councilor I do think, and, and uh, you know, the community saying so as well. Uh, to ask council, that's why I moved the deferral. Thirty days is not going to make a whole lot of difference. So why not postpone this for thirty days? Let the group have their community meeting. Have the council and, and the community attend the meeting. I think we we will learn a lot from them. But Councilor Bernard, let's make it clear: the consultant put a recommendation in the report. The consultant did not talk to anybody. He didn't talk to the user groups, okay? That's our job. Our job is to talk to the community groups, whether it's the minor Hopkins, <coughs> or whether it's the soccer folks, or whether it's ring at, or whatever the case may be. That's our job. That exercise did not happen. When I sat in the task force, okay, the community groups made it clear they don't want another ice pad at the University of Prince Edward Island. Is they that in the report? Pardon me? That's in the report. That's uh, what I got. I didn't see it. It's report. not in the report. Well, well you know, I, 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 I read the original Mr. report. Mr. Mayor, Mr. Mayor, I can't help that. I just remember. Well, no, but hold it. But it has to be in the report. No, 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 no. no. I was there. I'm telling the council, okay? I was there. I heard what they said, okay? I'm not fabricating it. No. I'm not making it up. I'm not exaggerating. I'm not overstating it. I'm being honest with everyone in this room. Okay. They're not happy with the arrangement with the current, current uh, carry agreement that they have with uh, with the private sector. They're not happy. They're not happy one bit. And if anyone thinks here that they're happy, like think again. So why not, Council Bernard? Why not just 30 days? What What's wrong with 30 days? And then we get, we'll get a much better, accurate picture. Yeah. What's wrong with that? Okay. The, well, uh, just one second, Council Bernard. The deferral was already voted on, correct? Did we not vote on it? Okay, yeah. so we voted in the deferral and it wasn't recommended. Councillor Yankup, is it you that I'm going to? Or no, Councillor Duran? Councillor Duran was next. Okay, thank you. Councillor Duran. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Your Worship. You know, we go back to we voted on this and closed session, then it went outside. I myself was a little, uh, I didn't exactly have 100% complete what I was voting on until it went to the open session. Um, so I know I voted. That's that's the way it is. But when Councillor Steele said, you know, 
community involvement, public consultation. I mean, you sit there in the chair and you say, we should be open and transparent. And I mean, now is the time to be open and transparent. Let mm -hmm. the community have their, have their say and, and let our council sit here and, and be informed. Uh, this seems to be a rush job. Mm -hmm. I know we're working with the Canada Games Committee and, and, and all that. But what we're missing is public consultation and getting these people out to have a voice. You know, we, we can't just rush what we think is right all the time. No. You know, that's part of our job is to listen to the people. Yeah. And we have old rates here that need to be replaced. Yeah. And, yeah. You know, these taxpayers are paying big money and we should listen to them. Yeah. Instead so, of doing what maybe we think is right all the time. Okay. So, so you know, I thank I thank you for giving me the time to talk and I, I just wish you would listen to the community group. Yeah, thank Councilor you. Drawn, uh, if you listen to what Councilor McLeod said and I think Councilor Yankoff and I've said, we will have the public consultation with the, the proposal out at uh, Simmons, uh, Simmons, Simmons Field. We had a pr presentation today, Councilor uh, Duran, with the Tennis Canada Group and what they want to do with the, some of the ideas that they have for Simmons. So we're listening and we're, we're being very understanding of what people have to say. And I agree with Councilor McLeod. We are going down a couple of tracks on this on this uh, this effort, and I think this is the right track. Councillor Ramsey. Yeah, my only comment on this resolution is that we are voting on a third pad for for you for, for the Bell Lions Center, correct? Yeah. So why are we even discussing Simmons? Because Simmons is not evolved in this thing right here. Good point. Like we all know, Simmons has to be replaced. Good point. And, 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 and I use that word very carefully. It has to be replaced because I have been there with all my kids all my life. But at the same time, this has nothing in this in this Fuji's resolution that I'm reading for six times that says nothing about Simmons. Okay. Good point. We're voting for the third pad at UPI. Am okay. I my wrong? Yes. yes. No, you're right. So are you calling the question? I call the question. Question. Oh, 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 sorry. Every time I'm going to get going. Let me go with that. So emotional. You talk. Is it not working again? Skip. I mean, you missed my rant? We're all right? Yeah, thanks. Good, good. Sorry, Councilor. Thank you, Your Worship. Um, I just want to echo, again, it's kind of a little combination of what I've heard here from Councilor. Council Ramsey, Council Bernard, and Council McKay. The um, I agree that the, the, we're voting tonight on a third ice pad for UPEI. Councilor Twill, I am sure, and I think every one of us is excited to hear about what what we can make and what kind of magic we can do at Simmons right. down the road, right. if and when that rink has to be decommissioned. Right. So uh, you know, I'm saying now. I mean, I, I'm supporting the third pad because I'm going to trust that us as a council and our corporation is going to ensure that UPEI is going to be fair to all of, all of our city residents, that they are going to be able to use that new, com new community pad. And I'm also excited to hear what we're going to do down the road um, and what we hear from the community on Simmons down the road. Good. So I will be supporting this. Councilman Kate. And it's great information and people can change their minds when they hear all the information so I came in here thinking no and then I'm thinking with the, with the condition of user group or terms of condition or something added in there could we add something like that in oh, there for sure. For sure. and yeah. then I can support right. moving yes. forward if there's yeah. going to be a look at the terms of reference between can you add that Mr. Kelly I think I think the problem here you worship is when you go back to the I believe it was 91 Canada games and, and uh, 2009 yeah, Summer well, games. basically though the 91 when they had the track yeah. and, and, and you know <coughs> some of the follow from that. Um, this is the third pad, this is to replace Simmons, this is the city of Charlottetown's rink. Yeah. And, and so uh, the contract should be done up that it will be the Char city of Charlottetown that does the ice times and allocations and everything else. It would be nice if our residents had access to some of these facilities that yeah. They keep investing in. So do you want to put it in the resolution or do you just want it as an I'd like it made sure that we do remember that we're going to have a discussion around. We can make sure that uh, the, the governance, the governance yeah, model this is only, aware. This is only going to go to the I know, but I just want to make sure that that's how people know I'm going to support that resolution. But that will come vote on, actually. Councilor Twilley, can we have your comments? 
Well, you know, uh, I think Councilor Kay brings up the point. Uh, Councilor Nerdy, you alluded to uh, 1991 games. You're right. Residents don't have access to the uh, walking track. Uh, when we invested money into the first field turf, uh, that was a that was a that was a nightmare as well. Uh, as far as our community groups having access to it, when we made a substantial investment, and we didn't make an investment the second time around, as you know. <coughs> and with the two ice pads, it's there. Now let's be clear here. From spring till after Labor Day, our community groups are not able to use those pads. Those those six months are tied up by the private sector. Lock, stock, and barrel. Make no mistake about it. So why would we go down that same road again? And I, I implore it upon each one of you that, as a member of the task force, I heard the frustrations. I heard the frustrations. Why can't we wait till we have a community meeting with, with this particular group that's doing a lot of good work? Yeah. They're very professional, very professional, and they're doing their due diligence. What, what's another 30 days? Yeah. What is another 30 days? Okay. Another 30 days will give us an opportunity, I believe, sincerely, that we would become much more informed. Okay. Councilor Tweet, the deferral was voted on. Yeah, I understand that. That's, that's but I got to do what I believe is right. Councilor, Councilor Yankoff, could you just wrap it up? I know you probably have some good words for us. I just, really, I just wanted to make sure that it's clear in the minutes that we've had these clear dis discussions around all of our concerns um, where, where it comes to ensuring that the, the citizens and re the residents of Charlottetown will have Important. ample access to that. Yeah, that's, and that's what I Council that McKay. That's to in those minutes so that if we quit in Tarantino this and we go ahead in time and we can look back and say, ha, there it was and it's not happening. Yeah. And we got the CAO <laughs> here, and he'll make sure that that's enforced. That's right, CAO? Good luck. Chief that's Administrative that's Officer of the City of Shotown. Good luck. Wrap it up, please. Can I just wrap up? Oh, oh you want to wrap up? <laughs> sort of tie the ball? <laughs> try, try, try to tie the ball. But I, I think what, what the comments that Council 12 said, it, it's not six months. What is it? Two. No. It's, it's July and August. No. Um, no. And in, in, in those months that uh, we have an anchor tenant, and that anchor tenant brings in a million dollars in revenue that the city would have to be paying out of our budget. And tourism uh, dollars. During a time when not many people are looking for our stuff. Now, if the city, in its wishes, desires that that third pad that goes on the building is not to be part of that, then they'll make that part of that. Uh, and that's what I think what I'm hearing here is to make sure that the yeah. city wants to have full control of it. Well, the, only reason, the only reason we have an anchor tenant in the other weeks and I believe that's where you're alluding to that people can't use it. They can use it, but they got to go through the anchor tent for the ice cream. So through the anchor tent. I, I, I think what you're alluding to yeah. is that people that want to use the rink right. during, during the summer months have to go through the anchor tent to rent the ice cream. From from spring till after Labor Day, yeah, six months. I'm going to get that check. No, no, I'm going to get that check, Mr. 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 Kelly. And then, could, Mr. Hope, just one, Mr. Kelly. Anyway. Could we take note of that to yeah. speak to Sue Fraser? And could you get the amount of money? The, the, the revenue generated the that they're there with, with, with the Andrews Hawks School. Because you know what? If, I'll tell you what. Shediac, they're over there now one week. The mayor of Shediac wants that school to move over there. Now, if that moves over there, then that revenue that's going up to UP, I guess who's going to have to subsidize? Us. Because oh. we're 87% of the partnership. Are you saying they're moving over there? That is what they're trying to do. They're always trying to get new, new business. They, that, they have one week now. Question call? Questions call, sir. Okay. All those in favor, please put up your hands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All those against? Uh, Councilor Drawn? Is he there? Councilor Drawn? Against? Good. Okay. Seven, two. Right, sir? Yes, sir, sir. Councilors Tweel and Duran opposed. And I think you know, we were sort of remember should be right. That information on Andrews and the revenue and all that was already sent to council. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. by Sue. Wayne said that probably a month ago. Yeah, yeah. I remember reading it. Yeah. Yeah. So all that, all that Mr. Kelly, went did you send it? <coughs> did you send it through? From Sue? No, Sue sent. Oh, I didn't tell yes. You. So just go <coughs> to the mailbox under Sue Fraser. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, now the next item, we need to do this right away. I'll tell you when uh, Johnny Dewey has to have the name submitted to him tonight because this is the deadline. So Mr. Kelly, we have to phone him right after the meeting or send him a resolution. Do you want to read it? Yes, sir. Move by Councilor McLeod, take by Councilor Nankoff, that the Shelltown City Council endorse Council Mitchell Tweel to stand for election on the FCM Board of Directors beginning immediately and ending June 21st, sorry, June 2021, and that Councilor Mike Duffy be the city's representative on the FCM Board of Directors effective June 2021, and further that the council assumes all costs associated with councilors Tweel and Duffy attending FCM Board of Directors meetings during the time. Should be, should be unanimous. Question? Please raise your hand if you're all in favor. Thank you, Council. Council Draw? Yay? No. Yay or nay? No. Okay. So, Councillor so Councilor Duran opposed. Eight to one. Okay. Anything else, sir? Yeah. We were supposed to uh, so the host decides to talk to government on getting us some can of funding for this third panel. We're supposed to adjust the ICIC funding. Yes. So we have been speaking to infrastructure. The application will have to come from uh, from Kerry, and we have we will send down the application form, but they have to they have to reply. Just he's already know he's already notified. So that's already okay. Did Thank you me. notify Sue Fraser about it? Yes. Thank you. Seeds so off the agenda, Your Worship. Yeah. Okay. Motion to adjourn. Second. So we'll go on the council meeting. Hey, meet me. Uh, uh, me. Uh, Darling, <laughs> 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 <laughs>